Microsoft just flipped the world on its head by changing the Azure certifications again. And in this video, we'll take a look at what's coming up in AZ-104 and AZ-204. Let's go. Welcome back to my channel, YouTube. If this is your first time here and you're looking to grow your IT career and your IT skills, you're in the right place. Just hit that subscribe button and that little bell so that you get alerted when new videos come available. All right, Azure certifications changing. Not too terribly surprising here if you follow the Azure certification line at all. It was less than a year ago when they changed it uh, for the last time. I mean, one year ago today, we were talking about the AZ-100 and the AZ-101. Then I think it was March-ish, they announced that it was just going to become the AZ-103. Now we're like nine months later and it's becoming the AZ-104, along with the AZ-204 having some pretty major changes too. Now, having recorded portions of the AZ-100 series and the entire AZ-203 for CBT Nuggets, uh, I'm kind of relieved that the AZ-203 is getting a, you know, a pretty serious chopping because that was a huge, huge exam. So what I think we should do is we should pull up the screen and take a look at what's changing in both of these certifications. Let's go. First things first, I've got the AZ-203. This is the Azure Developer Exam. Uh, this is a lot of code, a lot of development stuff, but this is really one of the biggest points of the cloud is development, right? So I think it's worth our time to actually explore um, what's changing here. It's also worth pointing out that if you have any interest in going for the 300 series exams, the 300 series exams are really just a combination of the one and the two. If you understand how to administer Azure as well as develop applications for Azure, you become then, you know, an architect. Okay, so let's talk about what's changed. Well, things that are still here, we still got provision virtual machines, uh, but things like disk encryption and ARM templates are gonna get moved to the AZ-104. Batch, gone entirely. Containerized solutions. Well, this is gonna be on both this exam, AZ-204, as well as the AZ-104. That's actually a change to the AZ-104 is they're adding more containerization and Kubernetes clusters there. All right, scrolling down just a little bit more. Well, I don't think much is changing with web apps and app services, because this is really like their cash cow on the AZ-204. Um, this is really where there was some heavy lifting. There's a lot of applications. I mean, the API app is also pretty much a web app. They're hosted in the exact same app service. So they're kind of the same thing, but they did make some changes to function apps. Function apps are a lot lighter now. They're keeping things like triggers and durable functions and bindings, but now they don't really care what app you use because you could use VS Code just fine. And they don't care what language you use because it's, you know, got a lot of language support for it. Beyond that, I don't think mobile apps made it at all. So we'll just put an X over that. We'll verify that when we get below. Now, if we scroll down some more, this is probably where the biggest change came in the AZ-204. Storage now is just Blob and just Cosmos DB. So table storage is gone and SQL databases are gone. And scroll down some more. Security also had some pretty huge changes. Quite frankly, this one makes me happy and sad at the same time because this was the hardest content to record right there, C back and R back, but gone. They're keeping shared access signatures though. And everything involving Key Vault is being kept here too. But pretty much all of this stuff, authentication is gone too. Now it's just focused on Azure AD by itself. So creating users and authenticating users using Azure AD. Pretty major change there in that section as well. Now, um, pretty much all of this stuff, I'm gonna say stays the same. They're gonna keep all of the monitoring, troubleshooting, and content delivery and cache, that's all gonna remain as part of the AZ-204. So you still have to remember implement auto scaling, you still have to remember how to do transient faults. There's still going to be app insights and web tests and alerts as well. Scrolling down some more, probably my favorite chunk of the entire exam. All of this stuff is staying about the same, except for Azure search is gone. That's moving to the AI exam. So logic apps, yep, that's all gonna be there. Event grid notification, I believe that's all there, but let's just make sure of that first. Uh, service bus and queue storage, that's all there. So if you scroll down, I'm gonna verify those things real quick. Yep, all of those things are still pretty much there except for Azure AI. So that pretty much summarizes the AZ-204 exam. Let's take a look at the AZ-104. I'll hop over to Twitter where I tweeted this already. 
bring up the link. Now this is this was nice of them. They they have the exact outline of AZ103 here, but then they gave us a little comparison sheet to show us what's changing right at the bottom. And I think this is probably you're you're seeing it right there. It's no longer infrastructure as a service. This is now compute. So it's platform, infrastructure, whatever. If you can administer it, this may be part of your exam environment. So let's scroll down and take a look. Well, the first thing worth pointing out is they've changed this title right here to manage Azure identities and governance. So this is things like controlling and creating users and groups, permissions, there's RBAC down here, but it shows you what it's not. It's not privileged identity management and it's no Azure AD Connect. That's a surprising one to me. Azure AD Connect is a huge tool that extends your on-premise into Azure. And it's a pretty major function of systems administrators. So I was really surprised to see that they've removed hybrid identity management entirely. In fact, if you scroll down, let's just jump ahead a little bit. Let's scroll down to what was domain five. You can see right there, they're telling you up front, we can manage identities. They put some of it back up there in that first domain, but manage hybrid identities is gone. Manage Azure Active Directory, sure. Manage Azure Active Directory objects, some. Implement multi-factor, gone. But what did they add? They added monitor and backup. So I think this is really interesting. Now we're analyzing our subscription log analytics, querying and analyzing logs. We're actually gonna have to write like log queries, configuring app insights, and setting up alerts and actions. This is similar to some of the topics that are also on AZ204 when you gotta monitor your application. Beyond that, they brought this back. This was an AZ101 topic and they're bringing it back. Now we have backup services and recovery services vault. We have site-to-site -site recoveries. Note that this doesn't include SQL and this doesn't include anything like on-premise migrations into Azure. This isn't a lift and shift operation, which are things that we've covered in the AZ101 content that's on CD2 Nuggets. So if you're curious about it, we got you covered. But this is a new addition to the AZ104. Now the networking portion remained unchanged over the last couple changes. Integrate on-premise network with Azure Virtual Network. That was actually an AZ101 topic. And now it's made its way still all the way to the AZ104. But I think it's worth pointing out these changes right here. Now we've got Azure Bastion and Azure Firewall. So these are new offerings that are gonna be brought into the AZ-104. And I thought it was also interesting, one of the things that they've removed is traffic management. So a couple changes right there that's worth pointing out that was been made to the networking. And just like we said, this is no longer an infrastructure as a service offering. If we scroll up and get into the VMs and compute section, now we've got containers and Kubernetes. And this is just create and configure. There's not a whole lot additional that you have to do, but these can be a little complicated to get up and running when you talk Kubernetes clusters, for instances. So do know that this has been added to the exam. They also tacked on app service and app service plans. Now this isn't deploy code for them. This isn't develop with environment variables. It's just create and configure. And it doesn't even mention high availability and scaling. That's also part of the AZ204. Beyond that, it doesn't require you to know anything about function apps, logic apps, and event grids, even though those are my favorite things in all of Azure. But alas, you can't have it all. Scrolling up a little more, VM creation, high availability, Azure storage, None of these things change too terribly much. I do love that they threw in Azure Storage Explorer. I love that app, cross-platform, use it on my Ubuntu laptop all the time. And then scrolling up some more, that's pretty much it. Those are the major changes to what came in the AZ-104. So when do these changes take effect? Well, it depends on the exam that you're going for. Some changes come in February, some changes come in March. But here's the big thing. If you're studying for these right now, stay the path. Because once these exams go live, the old exams will remain live for 90 days after the new ones have gone live. So that's to give you, they know that this was a sudden change, right? They know that this was like out of nowhere, kind of like, hey, we're changing stuff. Here's the new outline and we're changing it next month. No, what, what they're saying is we know that it was a quick change. We're going to give you 90 days after the new exams go live to finish up what you're working on. But then after that, you'll have to take the AZ-104, the AZ-204, or the AZ-303, which was the AZ-300, or the AZ-304, which is the AZ-301. 
So some changes, but some good changes. I like these changes. They removed a lot of the more complex things that kind of felt like overhead to the exam and they're focusing on the core offerings, which I think is what they really need to do. So good on you, Azure, for doing all these changes. And I look forward to recording any new content that needs to be recorded, as well as taking these exams. So that's been the major changes to Azure, these exams that were announced this week. If you have any questions about this stuff, hit me up on Twitter or hit me up in the comments below. I'd be happy to talk to you about it. All right, thanks for stopping by, y'all.